Greetings guys, girls, non-binary pals, and welcome back to another video. Today I have tried something different with my makeup and I don't know how I feel about it. Let me know what you think. Unless it's negative, then don't let me know what you think because I I I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna know. <laughs> um anyway, today's video, uh <laughs> A few days ago, Kat sent me a TikTok and it made me so mad. And so Kat and I had a little bit of a rant about it, a little bit of a yell about it. Um, and then naturally being me, I decided I needed to, to do a bit of a deep dive. I needed to go into this and make a video starting with this TikTok. But before we do get into it, I would like to say a massive thank you to today's patron of the day, Knitting Menace. I appreciate you and your support so much and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for your support. Um, and if anyone else would like to become a patron, you go to patreon.com slash savvy cat. It starts at as little as one pound a month and I appreciate it greatly. Okay, this TikTok cat sent me made me incredibly upset. <laughs> and I shall share that TikTok with you now. Um, pardon? Can you, can you do a roast? Do you want me to do a roast? Yeah. Can I just remind you of something? Um, I gave birth two days ago. Yeah, two days ago. And you came out of the hospital straight away. You've been sitting around all this time, so you can make a roast. To sure. send me home to get rest at home. Yeah, but you've been doing nothing but resting. Look at all these cups of tea oh. for a start. I mean, look, I'm just oh, saying... Oh, I'm sorry that I need caffeine to keep going with a newborn baby. Yeah, and it's not easy for me either. Right, I didn't give birth. No, but I'm not sleeping like you, so I'm knackered. You're awake, so we mum and dad are coming, and you know what they're like? They always want a roast, so... They always want a roast, yeah. but I've not just given birth two days before. You can get up and make it yourself. <laughs> look... You do it much better than I do. We know that. I've tried it, so waste the time me. Why are you gaslighting it? me? I'm not gaslighting you. You I'm always not. say I'm gaslighting you. I'm not. You're trying to manipulate me into I'm... making a roast right. for your mum and dad because you can't be asked. Well, do you know what? I've just cooked for the last nine months. Your yeah, kid. Yeah, yeah. I'll sit with them, with the baby, talk to them. You've got like a couple of hours to oh, yourself. Oh, you sit on your sure. ass with the baby while I'm stood slaving over a hot stove. It doesn't work like oh, that. Sit on my ass with the baby, so you're saying it's easy then. Yeah, so if that's the case, then you can go in the kitchen then, can't you? What's the problem? <laughs> The audacity. Oh my good God. This woman carried a baby inside her. She grew an entire human inside her for nine months and then had to go to the hospital and push it out of her body. <laughs> Two days ago, she had to go through one of like the most painful experiences a person can go through. And she's been home for two days. But how dare she have the audacity to not want to stand up and cook dinner for a man who is fully capable of doing it himself? How dare she? I am, like, astounded <laughs> How? I cannot imagine. I cannot imagine looking at someone who's just given birth and be like, hey, you know what? I think that you should go do stuff for me. I think that you should cook me dinner. I think that you should do that. Imagine look no look, uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Imagine looking at someone who's just given birth and calling them lazy for sitting down for two days. All you're doing is sitting on your ass. Yeah! That's all she should be doing. That's all anyone should be doing after any major hospital procedure, and that includes giving birth. Yeah, I didn't give birth, but I haven't been sleeping either. I'm knackered. Good for you. I'm sorry that you can't sleep, but she can't sleep and is also recovering from pushing a human out of her body. What the fuck? My parents are coming and you're better at cooking a roast than me, so I think that you should do it because I'm not gonna do it as well. You know what? I think they'll deal. I think that your parents will understand that your wife needed to rest after giving birth two days ago. You were let go from the hospital immediately, so obviously you can do stuff. My, the audacity, the lack of compassion. And she just had a baby with him. She just had a baby with him and he's acting like this already. Mm, Ma'am, I am so sorry 
Um, I know now is not the right time, probably, to be leaving such a relationship. It feels like, you know, uh, you're in a bit of a position here. But he's not the one. He, he, he just, she's not. He's not. And I cannot believe that there are people who are like this. I can't believe there are men who are like this. And there is so many of them, unfortunately, who just don't see childbirth as that big of a thing or who feel like entitled to the services of their wife, regardless of any circumstance. Like imagine <laughs> if he went to hospital and had like a major surgery or any sort of surgery or procedure done at all. And like, do you think his wife would be asking him to cook after two days? No, I really do not think so. I don't think anything would be asked of him for quite some time because you know, that's the correct, compassionate, lovely thing to do as just like a decent person, let alone as a life partner, let her rest and recover for like, I'm gonna say a few weeks, honestly. My dear God, as you can tell, this TikTok made me very, very angry. <laughs> this is weaponized incompetence at its best. Um, and if you don't know what weaponized incompetence is, basically it's when someone will pretend they don't know how to do something or aren't as good as something as you are to kind of manipulate you into doing something. It's when they don't do it correctly on purpose. It's when they deliberately just aren't doing what they're asked to do in order to make someone do it for them. And this is very prevalent in a lot of, especially like heterosexual relationships, especially from men. And there are so many TikToks about it. I have made a video about this before, quite a while back, and this just reignited the anger within me. So I needed to make another video. So we are going to look into some more TikToks with some weaponized incompetence happening because I need to yell today and I want you all to join in and yell with me. Buckle up because we're in for a, we're in for a ride. <laughs> this is POV, you left your husband in charge for two days. And then basically this house is a mess. It shows you the kitchen, which is just entirely covered in dishes. Like nothing has been put away or anything for the entire full two days. And then there's like toys out and everywhere. Nothing has been cleaned or put away. It's kind of like something was taken out and used and just left out. Dishes were eaten off of and then just put on the bench and nothing was sort of done about it. So the house is like in quite a state. And the reason for that is because she was sick for a couple of days. So her husband was looking after their kid and doing everything um, while she rested in bed. And then she said, it's okay though. Like it's fine that he didn't do anything because but after the two days she was sick, he took their daughter out for the day so she could stay home and clean the house. So he did his part. And like, it's just quite astounding to me. Like she is someone who enjoys cleaning. Her account is an organization sort of account. And so I understand that cleaning is like typically her job. I get that. And I understand that in some of these relationships, cleaning is sometimes, you know, their job. However, however, I think that when your wife is sick, even if cleaning is typically her job, you should be doing the basics and not letting it all pile up to just hand over to your wife the day after she gets off of bed rest. You know, like you should be at least putting the dishes in the dishwasher. You should be putting your kids toys away because having this mess everywhere is also a little bit of a safety hazard for your kid. You just aren't doing anything at all because you're like, my wife enjoys cleaning. She'll do it in a couple days. I don't have to do anything. I can just leave everything as it is, as a complete mess, and that is fine. It's, it's not though, and it's also like not teaching a very good lesson to your child either. It's very much just showing that you don't have to take responsibility for your own actions or your own messes. Just kind of leave it all for mom to fix. 
Leave it up. Someone else is going to fix it for you. You don't have to clean up. Leave it and your mother will clean it up. I, your father, do not have to do any cleaning or any jobs at all. I'll just look after you and then let everything be as it is because someone else is going to do it for me. It's your mother's job to do it. It is a mother's job to do it. It's enforcing these sort of stereotypes and relationship dynamics into a child and also just like not regarding your wife's sort of state of mind. Like maybe she wanted to go out with her daughter. After being sick for two days, I'd want to spend a day with my kid. You know what I mean? Like saying he did his part because he took my daughter out of the house while I cleaned. Like that's, that, that doesn't really seem like an equal split, you know? I don't know. I still just think that a little bit more responsibility needs to be taken. Even if he didn't like deep clean, like see, she seems to like doing it. at least do some basic tidying up. And then there's like a whole, a whole genre of this style of TikTok, which is cleaning the house as a couple. <laughs> And it is a woman like speedily doing stuff. She's doing a lot. She's, she's like folding up blankets, doing the vacuuming, doing the mopping, fixing things around the house and like just making everything look nice and clean while her partner is standing in the kitchen, slowly cleaning one straw and checking it and being like, hmm, it's not clean enough. So she's cleaning the entire house while he is slowly cleaning one straw so he can claim, I did my part, I am cleaning. Look, I'm doing it, I'm doing a task. And there's so many of these. This is like a big trend. There's another one of like the same thing, which is POV, you're cleaning your house together. She's like making the bed and sweeping the floor and putting away all the kids stuff, cleaning the mirrors, mopping, etc. While her husband is in the kitchen cleaning a singular glass. And it's just so frustrating that there is this whole dynamic thing of being like, yeah, I'll help you. I'll totally help. I'll I'll be helpful. Look, I'm cleaning. I'm doing what I can. Wow, look at me do this. And then leaving the actual tasks and responsibility to your wife. It's just, it's not pulling your weight. And you are aware of that. These men just don't care. You know, if your partner is asking you for help and you refuse to give it to them because you choose to do something like as childish as just doing one tiny thing and being like, I helped, look, I did this thing. Like, grow up. It's not that hard to just like sweep the floor or make the bed or do the laundry. Like, it's really not a difficult thing to do. And you're making, you, you're making your wife do all of it and you can't even do just a little bit. And then they wonder why their wives get cranky and frustrated and are constantly nagging them because they're not actually nagging. That's just them perceiving their wives asking for help as being nagged. Someone being like, hey, can you help me do this task? Can you do this one task since I've spent three hours cleaning the house? Can you just, I don't know, do the laundry? And they're like, how dare you ask me to do that? I just spent two hours cleaning this one singular glass. Like, honestly, it's not difficult to just help and you should want to help. I understand that cleaning is not the most enjoyable thing in the world. I am not great at cleaning and doing things around the house that I should be doing, but I am aware that it's important and I will do them when they have to be done. And if I am asked for help around the house, I'm going to do what is asked of me because it is a joint effort and everyone has to contribute to whatever degree. Ooh, 
And then there's another genre of this as well, which is, which are ones like this, which is we have company coming over tonight. So I asked my husband if he could help me clean the house. This is what he started doing. And he's like, sanding down a cupboard and repainting it. And that's, that's what he's doing. And there are other instances of these, which is like, we have guests over, I ask my husband to help me clean the house and he goes and like trims a hedge or clears the gutters or does something that does not actually really help in the situation. It's not what is being asked. It is not something that is necessary to be done right now. It's just a matter of like, I don't really want to like clean the house. I don't really want to sweep or vacuum or like do the dishes. So I'm going to go do something that no one asked me to do. No one actually needs me to do. And I should be doing it another time um, because I don't really want to help. And this way you can't get mad at me for not helping because I'm still doing a task that needs to be done at some point. It's just not what you need me to do right now. And it's infuriating. I promise nothing is going to happen to you if you just like clean around the house. I promise nothing bad is gonna happen if you just help your partner when you're asked to, or better yet, help your partner when you aren't asked to. Do the dishes just because you know they need to be done. Vacuum the floor just because you know it needs to be done. You should be able to take initiative. You see the kitchen is a mess? Clean it. Like, <laughs> it's not a hard concept to grasp. And then, might I say, when you do one of those tasks, you don't need to go and be like, I did the dishes, praise me, love me, I am a great husband, I did the dishes because your wife will never come to you and try to get praise for doing something like cleaning the dishes. The amount of men who will do like one task, they'll do like the laundry, they'll do the dishes, they'll like vacuum the floor and then they'll just do that one thing and they'll go be like, I am the best husband, wife, praise me, love me, I did a thing. Like, good for you. <laughs> like that doesn't deserve praise. You just did a basic chore that should be expected of you, just as it's expected of her. And there's this whole thing where um, there are women who are no longer doing these tasks that are expected of them just to see how long it'll take for help to happen. So there's like this TikTok Crazy. Look, after Valentine's Day, look, everything, just stuff all over. This is just my wife stopped cleaning and it is just an absolute mess. Nothing has been put away. There's like food everywhere. The ground is dirty. The benches are covered, tables are covered. Everything is just an absolute mess because his wife just decided to stop cleaning. And I've been seeing more of this of wives being like, I am sick of everything being expected of me. Like I do all these things every single day. I get my husband a glass of water first thing in the morning. I make breakfast and then I clean the kitchen and then I go to work at my full time job. And my husband doesn't help or do any of these things without asking. So they'll just like stop doing it to see how long it will take for their husbands to get the initiative and clean it themselves. So their like kitchens will slowly start to get messier and messier every day. The dishes will like pile up in the sink. There'll be food on the bench or they'll be like just mess out on the bench and they expect their husbands to put it away after a couple days. And they just don't a lot of the time. Sometimes they'll get mad and they'll like be like, why haven't you been doing this? Why is the kitchen a mess? What is, what is happening? Or they'll like just leave it because they think eventually their wives are gonna cave because they're not gonna be able to handle the mess anymore and they're gonna clean it themselves, which happens a lot. And it's very distressing and upsetting to find out that you don't actually have that support to find out that your husband is not going to help out. He just expects you to do all of these things for him. The other instances are like, these men will often just like leave their jackets on the back of a couch or they'll leave their clothes out on the ground and they'll get magically put away. And then suddenly that stops happening. They stop being 
put away and they're like, what's happening? Why isn't this where it should be? It's like, because it's not a fairy who does it. Do it yourself. How have you not figured that out? It's not magic. Just look after yourself sometimes, you know? And it's just very interesting that, you know, these men will kind of pretend to not know how to do these tasks and refuse to do them because they know it'll be done for them. There's a fun quote that likes to be passed around within this community of men, which is, If your wife asks you to clean up, do a shitty job so she never asks you again. Be a man. <laughs> if your wife asks you to clean up, say, you know how to do it so much better than me. Or do it badly and she'll never ask again. Those are two very common things that are said and that happen. Just try to be a decent person, you know? Like just try to have a little bit of compassion and try to respect your wife maybe. Because you are meant to respect and love your wife and want to help her and you should want to live in an environment that she also wants to live in. And you should know how to do all these things yourself and you should want to help. And it's just wild to me that they just don't. I asked my husband to put the leftovers away yesterday. It was ravioli. This is a trash bag. That's a trash bag. So this woman asked her husband to just put leftovers away. And so what he did was he put the leftovers in a trash bag and then put it at the back of the fridge. Bro, that is the most simple task and you still chose to do it wrong so that she never asks you to do it again. Like, come on, come on. All you have to do is put a cover on it or transfer it into a container. Why did you feel the need to put it in a trash bag and then put it at the back of the fridge too? Putting something in front of it. Why, why? Like, it's not hard. And like, I hope you feel good about yourself. You know, you've just upset your wife, but you know, maybe, maybe she'll never ask you to put leftovers away again, but maybe she'll also not ask you to do a lot of other things that are good things. Maybe she'll stop paying as much attention to you. This is the thing is these men always do this and they're like, why doesn't my wife speak to me? Why is my wife always grumpy? Why aren't my wife and I intimate anymore? Freaking, I wonder why. It's because you don't respect her and she's now realizing that. The more you do this and the more you show that you don't respect her and you don't wanna help her, the less interested in you she is going to be. And you are bringing that upon yourself. Ladies, when you send us to the store, turn your ringtone on. It's not even in case we might call you, okay? We're going to call you. The potatoes aren't where you said they'd be. The guy who works here has never even heard of the hair stuff you use. And the aisle you said ketchup would be in is now cleaning supplies. Meanwhile, my wife can't go 11 seconds without scrolling on TikTok. Yet every time she sends me to the store, she immediately gets into the shower after throwing her phone into the bottom of a lake. Can't get the girl to focus on a movie for an hour. But when she needs the most specific eggs they make, she cracks her phone in half and buries it like she's being tracked by the FBI. So I just got to walk around Target like I'm studying for a chemistry test. Okay, or organic, pasture-raised, regenerative, and make sure none of the shells are cracked. Every time I go to the supermarket alone, they're rearranging the aisles. The section I gotta get to is always under construction. What is the manager like? Hey, let's see what the store would look like with the refrigerator section outside. Do you know how many different types of cheese they make? Then I get called a moron when I buy the wrong one. Why do they make so many different toothpastes? Hey, man, um, if your wife can find her way around the shop, you should also be able to find your way around the shop. It's really not that difficult. <laughs> like the fact that she even tells you what aisle things are on is astounding. I could not tell you even what numbers of aisles things are. I have been going to the same Sainsbury's for a year and a half now and I still don't know where things are and I get lost every time I go in there because I have the worst memory ever. And you know what? I, I don't really feel like I need help with that. I just kinda, walk up and down looking for what I need. And sometimes I end up going in circles and sometimes it takes me a long time, but that's no one else's responsibility, but my own. Um, it's not a difficult thing. You don't need to call your wife to ask what aisle something is on, just go look for it. And in terms of knowing which version of things to get, surely you pay enough attention around the house to sort of know what is being consumed and used in your house. And if not, write it down. 
take photos so you know what you're looking for. And if they don't have that specific thing, buy a different version and say, I'm so sorry, they didn't have the one you wanted so I got what was closest to it. That doesn't work for things like hair products and stuff, but when it comes to like cheese or whatever, just buy it in a different brand and be like, they didn't have the one you wanted, but they did have this one, May hopefully they'll have it next time. You know, like just use your initiative. Write a list or take photos and just understand that you are a capable adult who is able to buy groceries and it is not that difficult of a task. Giving my wife 30 minutes of alone time. So I want you to take the next 30 minutes to yourself, do yoga, enjoy yourself. I've got everything under control, okay? Sorry, where did we move the measuring cups? Okay, super husband here, huh? Okay, hey, so when are we getting together with the Quins on Friday? Okay, thanks, sorry, okay, namaste. Hey, um, <laughs> I forgot what I was gonna say. All right, are you having fun? You enjoying it? Okay. Hey, where did we put the diaper bag? It's not in the car. That's why I looked. Look again. Okay. All right. <sighs> Super husband. Okay. I might need your help in about five minutes or so. Almost done. Okay. Five minutes. Five minutes. Perfect. I got it. I've got it. I am obsessed with using we. Where did we put this? Where did we put that? Where did we, like, clearly it wasn't you doing anything. <laughs> you, or you would know <laughs> where these things are. I am someone who loses things a lot. I have ADHD, I never know where I put anything. So maybe that's not a fair thing to say. However, I know what room things like measuring cups are in and I will pull apart the drawers and move everything around until I find them. Sometimes I will ask for help finding them if I'm completely blind that day. But if someone is trying to relax and I've given them time to be with themselves because they never get that, I'll just live without, you know? You can, you can deal without, use something else instead. Why do you need the measuring cups right now? Surely you can wait 30 minutes. The diaper bag, you should definitely know where that is. You should absolutely know where that is. Leave your wife alone for 30 minutes. She clearly doesn't get even five minutes to herself at all, anytime. Just let her breathe, you know, these things can wait. And if they can't wait, maybe you should have all of this sorted out before she leaves for some alone time. Maybe you should be present enough as much so as your wife, that you know all the answers to these things anyway. Like the fact that you can't even give your partner 30 minutes, 30 minutes is astounding. That's astounding. She can't even have 30 minutes to her. Oh my God, that sounds exhausting. <laughs> know how to look after your kids for half an hour. Childcare is one that comes up a lot with weaponized incompetence as well. It's a lot of uh, POV when your wife leaves you alone with the kids. Help me! Help me! These men with their kids being like, help, help me. Like they don't know what to do. They don't know how to look after their kids. Uh, there's also like this one, when you leave your husband alone all day with the baby. Girl, no, what the hell? She comes in um, and asks, are you all right? And he's like, no, what the hell? And he's holding his kid upside down by the ankle with toys all around him. And um, <laughs> I know that it's okay to hold a baby upside down by like two ankles, but doing it by one ankle feels like not, <laughs> it doesn't feel that great, but I don't know. Either way, I know this is a joke, but I don't think it's super funny to like, joke about the fact that your partner doesn't know how to take care of his own kid. I don't think it's that funny to joke about not knowing how to look after your own baby and that you need 
your wife's help because you can't do it. You don't know how to look after your kid, even though I know with 100% certainty your wife absolutely could and she absolutely does. Like it's not a flex and it's not a joke to not know how to look after your own kid. It's just, it's just astounding to me. And like being like, I'm not good at looking after the kid. You're so much better at it. I don't know what to do. I, the house is gonna be a mess. They're gonna be crying. I'm gonna forget to feed them or whatever in order to keep your wife from living her life is just so sad. It's so sad and it happens all the time and it's frustrating as all hell. That is some weaponized incompetence for you today. Just frustrating <laughs> people not taking responsibility and not being compassionate and helpful and good loving partners. It's a lack of respect for your supposed life partner and someone you are meant to love and care about and care for. Um, and it's just really upsetting and way too common and joked about way too often. Manipulation is never okay. And a lot of the time this sort of stuff does border on becoming abusive. A lot of the time it can be used as an abuse tactic. It's not always like abusive, but it is always toxic and can lead to further manipulation or as a sign of other manipulation. And it's just not acceptable. Keep an eye out for it. Note if you are doing it or if someone around you is doing it and call it out. Try to work on the behavior and respect the people around you and know that you deserve to be respected too. That is all for this video. I hope that you did enjoy. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Over 60% of you are regular viewers but are not subscribed. So make sure to check. Um, click the little bell as well. I always forget to say that, but you should definitely do that. Um, a massive thank you to my Sprout and Above patrons whose names are up on the screen right now. I appreciate you greatly. And a huge, huge thank you to my Kiwi Cat patrons. Bobby, Josh, Mandy, Ikazel, Jessica, Eldo, Danielle, Raven, Elias, Chris, and Amelia. I love and appreciate you so, so much. Thank you so much for your support. If you would like to become a patron, you go to patreon.com slash or click the top link in the description. For as little as one pound a month, you get my videos a day early. And then for three pounds and up, you get things such as outtakes, one of many podcasts, live streams, vlogs, and more. More. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, the Queer Kiwi, and Twitter, that Queer Kiwi. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe. Keep fighting. I love you. Mwah. When you close your eyes, you replace.